Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the first episode of the Mega Route Train series that I've been trying to do for a very, very long time. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different on the Mega Route, even though this is really the first episode I've ever done on it. Today we're going to build a line that's going to take me a course probably over the rest of the year that goes between the Baltimore and Conley's uh, the Baltimore and Conleysville route all the way to um, the route that connects with Memphis Tennessee and that's gonna go north to, um, south to Jackson Mississippi and down to New Orleans so right now I'm just placing down some base boards so I can connect all the way to the places where we got to connect these base boards to so I can have the inner connection all right, there we go. From here, you can see I figured out that we have an issue right here that I'm not gonna be able to go up the hill, basically. Since the thing with routes that are made off of a DEM, they, their height are different from just normal baseboards. That's basically what's going on here. And I really didn't do a lot of terraforming due to so much lag I was lagging really badly for some reason and it's probably because of the thousands of speed trees that are on this route but usually the speed trees don't hurt the performance on my PC so I just left it and just kept on building towards the other route that takes us to Memphis Tennessee and Jackson Mississippi Anyways, if you would like to see your route on the Baker route, just let me know. Y'all can DM me, text me, or even email me your route, and I can see what I can do, and I can somewhat incorporate it into this mega route I have here. Um, this route is very performance heavy. Like, it hurts to run this route. I'm running a i9-9900K with 32 gigs of RAM and a 2070, and I can't even do medium settings on this route. And it's not because of storage. I have over six terabytes of storage, so it shouldn't be that. What it really is, I just think it's really the game itself because the game is just crying for help due to how performance heavy this route really is. And these i9-9900Ks run really hot, like, cheese. That's why I had to do an AIO, a AIO cooler, I think it is. It's part water cooling uh, and part just air cooling. So I had to do one of those. For the sake of it all right so what we're doing now is we're building a little town a very small town that is in the tennessee slash kentucky area and i haven't been to kentucky actually so i'm just doing a little guess of what it would look like like a countryside town in kentucky so i really based it off of a tennessee town basically Anyways, if y'all would like me to see, if y'all would like to see me build something else other than just my stuff on this route, put a build request and I'll try to see if I can build it on to the mega route if I haven't built it already. If you want me to build your hometown on the mega route, I can try and see what I can do and work it out some type of way, I guess. So from here, what I did is I changed the crossing, out, crossing gates out from the TRC to the HP crossing gates. The HP crossing gates, they are really nice because you don't have to do no setting up, but the problem is with them is that the crossing gates go down too fast and as you can see right now, the road. I got rid of the TRC crossing gates due to, with the Mega Route, there are so many different codes of the TRC crossing gates out there. So what I did is I just put the HP crossing gates because every time you merge a route onto the Mega Route, it's going to mess up all the TRC systems. So I just say, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna go with HP crossings because they look decent and I don't really have to do any setting up. I could have did Atlas as well, but Atlas is just, it's so much to do for Atlas. That's why I really don't like Atlas at all.
And before any of y'all say it, yes, I am not a good route builder. I am very new, not new, but I'm very quick when it comes to route building. I'm just not that type of person that would sit there and super detail a scene. It's just, it's just not in me, really. I like to just have a scene done so I can be able to run trains on it, basically. So that's why I love these city block assets. They are very, very nice. You can get them on the download station. Just look up city block small. I don't know if there's a city block medium or large. If there is, I'm going to have to take a look at it because that would be, like, very helpful. Okay. But, yeah, as you can see, I'm just putting down some buildings for, like, a little town area. Nothing too spectacular, but just a little something here and there. Alright, from here, I tried to figure out what I was going to do with this area. So, I decided to do it like a, a little neighborhood almost. As you may know, some neighborhoods, they'll have like the sidewalk and the houses will like literally their stairs to the house will just be right there on the sidewalk so what i did is that basically and i i couldn't find the jr garage asset for some reason so i didn't mess with it i just went on hand went with the floor and just added a whole bunch of houses to the whole thing You're probably wondering why I put the dumpster right there. Well, the main reason I put the dumpster right there is because sometimes you'll see like jobs or somebody is doing a remodeling to their house, which my dad actually does the whole remodeling business stuff. So I added one of them dumpsters right there. So maybe somebody's redoing their house, remodeling their house. So that's pretty much why I put that there. Uh, one thing I do love, love about Trains 2019 is the new like mountain assets you could do the terraforming um options they're very very helpful and it's really just if you're new to terraforming yeah, i would highly recommend it another asset i really like are them large x trees which we just put down i really love those for a lot of reasons one they're decent they're, they look decent and they're good for like backgrounds so I really do like them in that sort of type of way another thing I'm not really good at is really paint I guess you could say I'm new into it really not new but I've never just came around to doing some nice paint for some my some of my routes and another thing I know some of y'all are gonna say Hey Cam, why you don't just use the copy and paste tool? Well, I could, but there's a problem with Train 2019 where sometimes when I use the copy and paste tool, it'll instantly crash your game. It's, it makes no sense. It's been doing it ever since. It's not my PC, it's because it happened with my old PC as well. So, it's just Train 2019 being Train 2019. As you can hear now, this is my favorite soundtrack to this entire little uh, playlist I got playing for y'all. Um, actually, I need to get y'all the link to the person who makes all this music. It's all free, it, nice music to use. I absolutely love the music from this download sheet. This playlist, I custom made the playlist because if I, I was just trying to go ahead and put a whole bunch of songs together instead of me just putting uh, like one song here, one song there, you know what I mean. And as you can see, I put them pine trees up there because you see a lot of pine trees in Georgia and the Tennessee area. So I, gone, I went on ahead and just put them for background uses since they're 
really easy to use. I just went on ahead and just slapped them down. These ST underscore RMM trees are very nice. I really do like them. Highly recommend them. Um, they can be performance heavy, but they are worth it all the way. Another asset I do like is these grassy assets, also high on performance, but I mean I could just use turf effects, but recently I've been having an issue with turf effects where on the mega route, literally all the turf effects that's on this route got deleted. I don't know why, I don't know how, and I just said screw it, I don't really care. It hurt my performance anyways, it did make the route look nice, but it hurt my performance, so I just said whatever is, maybe it happened for a reason. So I went on ahead and went along with it. Another thing, these JMR signals, love them to death. I really love them. I highly recommend them. As well as these um, defect detectors from Join the Rail. Very nice defect detectors. They're probably the nicest defect detectors you can get on like the Train Z market. And they're freeware as well, which who doesn't like free stuff? Alright guys, we're going to cut into some quick cinematics. Y'all can watch this quick train go by, and that will be it. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of the Mega Route series, and I hope to see y'all next time. Peace out, guys. Detector, file post, seven.